This video covers the key concepts you need to know for inequalities. Inequalities can be used in a variety of different ways. Inequalities can be used to represent a group of values, like a section on a number line or a group of numbers that fit a specific condition. They can even show whether a number is larger or smaller than another number. For example, out of these pairs of numbers, using the words greater or less, quickly pause and finish the following sentences. For the last couple of questions, some may have mistakenly used the wrong word due to there being negative numbers. Remember that on a number line, numbers in this direction are always larger than numbers in this direction. As we can see, negative 3 is higher than negative 7. So that's why negative 7 is less than negative 3. We can represent this information in maths using specific symbols. The symbol for greater than is this and the symbol for less than is this symbol. So, the questions from before can be shown instead like this. How can we remember which symbol means what? It's similar to what we said about the direction on the number line. We can see the numbers going from the left to the right are increasing, and the numbers going from the right to the left are decreasing. The greater than symbol is always pointing to where the numbers are increasing or greater, and the less than symbol is always pointing to where the numbers are decreasing or the lower numbers. What if we wanted to represent all the numbers that are less than a number, for example 5? We would then use algebra to show this. The variable x represents a number in this inequality that is less than 5. So x could be 4, 3, negative 2, 1.7 or even negative infinity. These are all examples of numbers that are less than 5. The less than symbol is this. This is the final inequality. Have a go yourself. Consider this question. Represent numbers that are greater than or equal to 7. What numbers fit this? Well, any number greater than 7, such as 8, 10, 8.06, 100, 4,593, or any other number greater than 7. However, there is a number that must be included. The number is 7, as the question says, or equal to. How can we represent this with symbols? You would probably initially write it like this which is correct to a degree. How would we show the or equal to part of the statement? We would use this symbol. This symbol means greater than or equal to. You could probably guess what the symbol for less than or equal to is. It is this symbol. Once again, pause and have a go at these questions. To summarize, we can use symbols to represent mathematical information. The four inequalities you need to know are greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. Remember, the direction of greater than and less than are the directions of where the greater or lower numbers are on a number line. 